how to protect your message and why that is important. To answer this, I'm gonna get a little bit more philosophical because I think it's more of an awareness of what's going on than it is a step-by-step -step process. What I've noticed in my few years helping Maddie behind the scenes, the industry around the YouTube world often sees creators in two ways. They either see them as talent to manage or they see them as billboards for other brands. But I think the most accurate perspective to have on content creators is a founder of a startup or a founder of a small, medium, maybe even large size company. So when YouTubers are seen as talent to manage, what happens is can give up too much professional control or too much control around their perspective, around their product, around their messaging, because these outside people think they know what's best for the YouTuber. Oftentimes the industry sees creators as just billboards for other brands or bigger companies. So creators have these eyeballs, bigger companies want these eyeballs, so they're gonna pay creators to say the things that they want them to say. But every time a creator says something that's not really in their voice is a detriment to their personal brand. And so they're deferring their content or their messaging to the brand to tell them what to say. And that dilutes the creator's product over time. And so the long-term byproduct of this, whether they're seen as talent to manage or billboards for other brands is creators oftentimes give up too much professional control or too much content messaging control to these third parties, thus reducing their brand value effectiveness to their audience and maybe have stunted their growth. Also in the YouTuber space, these things can combine together. So Maddie gets a ton of emails regularly saying, hey, we are a talent agency. And the next line is usually we work with a ton of great brands that we can introduce you to. So oftentimes the talent to manage and the billboards for other brands can kind of congeal. But when you look at creators as more founders of startups or leaders of small, medium-sized businesses, what do startup founders and leaders of small, medium-sized businesses do? They really protect their core product. They don't let anyone mess with it because that is their golden goose. Think about if Steve Jobs wasn't protective about his perspective on the future of technology. We would likely never have the iPhone. That's what content creators should be doing around their messaging, especially early on when they're just starting to experience growth. They really need to protect their unique voice, really maintain your professional control over what's going on. And the long-term byproduct of this perspective is that content creators are hiring and making strategic business moves that only strengthen their brand, their messaging, their voice, not take away from it. They're going to hire in certain ways. They're going to do operational things. They're going to do personal growth to make sure that they're as healthy as they can be so that they don't burn out. All of those things happen when you are really protective about your particular message. Now, I think this can scare content creators who think of themselves as a business leader or as a founder of a startup because oftentimes content creators are just that. They are creators. And I hear you, but I don't want you to think of a founder of a startup or a business as all the boring stuff that comes with that. It's about protecting your message and make decisions that best reflect protecting that product. And you'll start acting like a founder and a CEO, and you're probably better than some of those founders in Silicon Valley anyways. So that's one awareness to have, understanding how the industry sees content creators. The other more awareness philosophical thing that I've been been thinking about is back in the 1400s, I don't know the dates, I don't know my real history, the printing press was invented and that revolutionized how communication spread. And what this opened up for is anyone with an idea could essentially mass produce their books. Uh, authors became more of a thing, created this whole industry, the book industry. And a lot of people are equating the YouTube podcast audio video revolution as essentially a new school printing press. So if printing presses led to authors, I think what YouTube and podcasts are doing is leading to content creators. And you would never have an author have somebody else write a chapter of their book, a paragraph of their book. It's the author's idea. So you as a content creator, think of yourself almost like a new school author. Don't let anyone write your book. Only you can write your book. Now, if there's brands or other opportunities that come along where you share similar values, maybe you guys can co-write a chapter or co-write a paragraph or something like that. And those would be brand deals, but don't let anyone write your book for you. Write your own book. So that's another way to think about how to protect your message kind of more, again, less tutorially, more philosophically. Hope that was helpful. Yeah, protect your unique voice, your unique vision. You have the relationship with your audience. You likely know what's best for them content-wise because you have that relationship with them. I think oftentimes YouTubers feel like they're finally accepted when they get a brand deal. And that's rightfully so when somebody's like, hey, I wanna pay you because you're doing great work, but don't let that amount of money potentially forego the long-term value of keeping your message intact. Again, I'm not saying brand deals are bad, done plenty of them, but ultimately try and protect your voice as much as possible because at the end of the day, it's your product and founders really protect their products like Steve Jobs, like I mentioned.
Now I'm just kind of rambling. Tyler Wells, I'm a business thinker, marketing manager. I help creators, entrepreneurs, and businesses rest in their identity, think through their strategy, and move forward in their tactics so that they're personal, healthy, professionally confident, and tangibly hitting their goals. If that sounds good to you, hit like and subscribe down below, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Uh, uh, uh.